For any of you out there who may feel like you might have been targeted for narcissistic abuse because of your tender heart and your gentle nature, or if you find that it's like a common theme that uh, you have situations like that happen where, you know, people just take advantage of you or try to mess with you or whatever. The first and most important step of true healing, I believe, is to just realize that you're special. You are special. You have a beautiful countenance and energetic frequency about you that sometimes other people will notice before you do. So if you're not self-aware, you could have other people that pick up on this about you, but you're kind of just riding blind. You're in autopilot. You know, you've, uh, you've had that part of you kind of turned off. Now, what you'll find is that once you actually recognize it, you wake up and realize it, a lot of times the people around you will start to change the way that they treat you because they were comfortable see when you were in the place where you didn't know who you were and you didn't understand that they were comfortable with that because then they could take advantage of that but the second that you start to come into your own and realize who you are then it becomes a threat to them because they can no longer control you so you can be as wise and incredible and amazing as you want but you know if you don't understand that you're special and that that's why you oftentimes will become targeted by people especially narcissists or abusers who recognize your light but see that you don't then you're gonna suffer because of that you're going to have to deal with the repercussions of that. So the important thing is understanding who you are, understanding that you are extremely special and you have to treat yourself as such. You have to treat yourself as a special gift from God that should be valued and respected and appreciated no matter who you're around. And, um, I think that once you come to that point and you actually realize who you are, then you'll treat yourself in such a way that it's going to be very difficult for people to be able to mess with you or get over on you because you just recognize who you are now. So remember who you are. Remember that you're a beautiful light shining in a dark, dark world. And if you don't recognize that, these snakes are going to eat you alive. I'll just tell you the truth. They will. They'll eat, they'll chew you up and spit you out because you're a sweetheart. You've got a tender soul. You love everybody. You care about everybody. You're extremely generous and you assume that everybody else is like you. So you just give completely freely from your heart. Well, it's beautiful to have that side of you, but it's also very important that you're wise enough to recognize that there are predators out there and they will take advantage so once you're able to put that boundary around you then you can start to separate yourself from the world in such a way that allows you to develop allows your light to shine allows you to build and grow and evolve and you know still allow yourself to interact with the outside world but to do so with a great measure of wisdom and discernment out of your own protection because, you know, it says in the Bible, the devil roars around, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he can destroy. So it's our job to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves as we move through this world that we live in right now. So hopefully this message has been helpful for someone, and I hope everyone has a blessed day.